Welcome back lighting friends, this is Rob with Pathway Connectivity Solutions to tell you a little bit more about the Cognito Lighting Control Console. Last time we talked about the hardware and why we place things where they are. Today we're going to talk about some of the core philosophies of the software and why we've laid things out on the touch screen the way we have. And uh, as we mentioned, front and center is the touch screen, which is the main interface that you do a lot of things. Now we do have wheels and buttons off to the left and right and uh, I hope you notice things are symmetrical so it doesn't matter if you're left or right. The whole idea of laying things out in this orientation are so that you actually can kind of be hands-on and heads up and look at the stage which is where you need to be to create you know art which is what we do. So we have looked at the process of what it takes to get lights on the stage and we have broken it down into four things that we think that you do over and over again. And that is you select your lights. Once you have selected them, you need to control them. First off, maybe turn them on. Then once you've got things the way you're looking and liking them on stage, you then record them somewhere. And after they're recorded, you then play them back. So this is so fundamental and so important to us that we have actually laid that out in a taskbar along the bottom of the of the desk and that is going to be the main interface as you repeat these tasks over and over again and again they are select control record and play so if we look at selecting the lights we have lots of different options of selecting them um, here I can select all of my RGBs none of my RGBs my movers um, get rid of my movers, I can select none, I can select all of my dimmers. Anyways, once I've done that sort of thing, I can then say, all right, I now want to control them. So then we go into the next task, which is control, and then we have methods of controlling them, and we have broken them down into the families of intensity, color, position, and shape. And those are mimicked in the hardware here with the intensity color, position, and shape button. And we will get into all the various methods of control of intensity, like using these buttons here for uh, IRGB control, or in color, using libraries of predefined colors, or you could use the color picker. When we get into position, of course, we have the ability to use the two wheels while we're looking at the stage to pan and tilt our lights. We may also want to use something like a joystick where you just push and hold and the light will do as you want as long as you're holding the button. Or you might have a bullseye and you may realize that if I wanted the light on the stage, I would hit to this position here and that would get me towards wherever it needs to be. Um, then there's also shape control. So there's gobos or um, lens control, zoom control, there's uh, shutters, uh, all the different various methods of controlling things. Um, and then after you're done building your art by selecting your lights and controlling them where you want them to go, next thing is to store that somewhere so you can recall it later. And that is called the record operation. Now, in Cognito, there are four different places that you can put art or selections or tools or whatever they are uh, you can put them into memories which are the handles that go across the top of the interface there are cues which will play back on the left or the right playback and they work with the go buttons there are libraries which we will define later for color position and shape and then there are groups, and these are places where you might say all of my front lights, all of my top lights, all of my specials, all of my movers, those sort of things. Then going along to the next task is play. And after you've recorded things into memories, you'll be able to play them back. So that's just putting things on a handle. So you can actually just push up a podium if you need it, or a front light, or a gobo wash. There is also the view that shows you the left playback, which has different playlists, or the right playback, which could load up 
more playlists. And that's where we would hit this more button. Or there's a mix mode which shows you across the top here. It shows you 20 of the handles uh, on sliders. It shows you what's happening on the left go button. And it also, there's nothing in it right now, but on the right go button. So that's a little bit on the control philosophy, how you navigate around on the touch screen through those four tasks. I hope you join us next time where we're going to talk about this pin button, which sits between the, uh, just below the power button between the faders at the top of the screen. So please join me again. This is Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions.